All right, I'm back to wrap up the end of chapter seven. Sorry, we just had a little technical glitch there, um, but we're almost done with seven. So um, finally, a look at the differences between the ABC and traditional product costing systems. Um, first, there's three reasons why reported product margins for the two costing systems differ from one another. Um, so first, traditional costing allocates all MO to products, where ABC costing only assigns manufacturing overhead costs consumed by those products to those products. So again, it's focused in on cause and effect. The second reason, traditional costing allocates all MO using a volume-related allocation base, like machine hours or uh, direct labor hours which are going to be very much tied to the volume of product produced. Um, ABC can use volume-related allocation bases, but it also uses non-volume-related allocation bases, like uh, duration drivers and transaction drivers that we talked about previously. So it looks at different things that cause costs, more cost buckets, more cost drivers. And then finally, a third reason, traditional costing disregards selling and admin expenses because they are assumed to be period expenses. ABC costing takes a different look at that and it directly traces shipping costs to products and it potentially includes some non-manufacturing overhead costs caused by products. So again, cause and effect. So non-manufacturing overhead costs caused by products in the activity cost pools assigned to those products. So again, it's focused in heavily on cause and effect, and we keep asking what is causing costs to happen? And ABC takes a totally different approach than traditional product costing. So when we think of process improvement and how to fix our company, thinking back on Baxter Battery, how do we go from having negative two million for our net income, how can we use ABC to help us fix that problem? Traditional costing fell short and didn't give us the information we needed to really scrutinize that question and come up with practical management solutions where ABC gave us some data that we could actually look at and make some decisions and focus in on improvement for our company. Um, here they're suggesting that ABC used in conjunction with activity-based management would help us identify areas that would benefit from process improvements by focusing on activities to eliminate waste, decrease processing time, and reduce uh, defects. <clears throat> so essentially, activity-based management is using your ABC data then to make your management decisions and improve your company, hopefully. ABC activity rates can also provide valuable clues concerning where there is waste and opportunity for improvement. We saw that as we looked at Baxter Battery. Before we even finished our analysis, as we computed those activity rates, we could already see that the, um, the design change rate was really high. And just the rate for having one customer, $1,540, we saw that that was high. It definitely raises questions. Just looking at the activity rates might help us find some opportunities for improvement. <clears throat> Lastly, they suggest benchmarking can be used to compare activity cost information with standards of performance achieved by other organizations. Um, honestly, that sounds lovely, but if uh, I, I think it would be highly unlikely that organizations are going to share this type of data um, with others. So true benchmarking with other companies might not be achievable, but um, certainly benchmarking within, um, comparing your own company's data to its data in previous period, periods um, could totally be possible and can help the company focus in on improvement so ABC is a really practical approach for a company that really wants to find ways to improve its operations, figure out which products or services to focus in on, um, and often provides a new look at data that traditional costing does not. So um, it can be very time consuming and difficult to implement an ABC system. 
um, keeping in mind that it would be in addition to a regular costing system. Um, it can potentially be a lot of work, but for companies that truly want that information and plan to use it to make improvements, it can be very much worth the effort. There's a lot of time and effort that goes into it, but um, you know, if we look at Baxter Battery and the idea that we could you know, make a few changes in how ordering is done and uh, minimum quantities and really turn the company around, it very well could be worth it. <clears throat> so activity-based costing and external reporting, let's just put it this way, they don't mix. Um, they say most companies do not use ABC for external reporting. Let's strike the word most and just leave it at companies do not use ABC for external reporting. And here's why. Um, external reports are going to be less detailed than internal reports. The amount of data that ABC is providing is really meant for internal consumption. Um, second, it may be difficult to make changes to the company's accounting system. Stop there. Don't make changes to the company's accounting system. The company needs to have a traditional costing system for external financial statements. ABC is something in addition to it's not a replacement for, it's a supplement to. So don't change the company's accounting system. This is something that we need to do on the side because number three, ABC does not conform to GAAP. So we're not gonna be using this for financial reporting. It's really that simple. ABC does not conform to GAAP. Um, finally, auditors may be suspect of the subjective allocation process based on interviews with employees. Um, yeah, completely. So ABC should never be on our financials and therefore shouldn't be audited. Um, ABC is really meant for internal use by managers. It's not meant for external use financials. It does not conform to GAAP and it should not be audited because there is definitely subjective allocations in there. So it's simply not going to work for that purpose. But for internal management decision making, it can be a very valuable tool. Um, limitations of ABC. Um, definitely there are limitations. There's some great uses of ABC, but definite limitations. Um, substantial resources required to implement and maintain. It does require a lot of work um, by accountants and by employees throughout the organization. As we mentioned earlier, it really requires support from top management sometimes to get employees to provide the data, um, the, how their time is spent, um, all of that information. So they might not be happy about participating at first, but um, if we can prove that we're really using ABC for improving the company, um, hopefully we'll get some buy-in down the road. Um, definitely resistance to unfamiliar numbers and reports. Can you imagine if you were the manager of the long life battery division at uh, Baxter Battery, and a traditional costing system is showing that you have a positive product margin, that the long life batteries are making money. Maybe not as much as the sure starts, but they're making money. And then we come in and we do ABC and suddenly the long life batteries are the big loser and they're losing money for the company. Can you imagine that feeling of resistance to unfamiliar numbers and reports? Um, thinking this is nonsense, what kind of accounting method is this and it doesn't conform to GAAP and you know we have a perfectly fine traditional costing system that says we're making money. But ABC says you're not and maybe it's time to make some adjustments. So um, I can definitely picture there being resistance to those unfamiliar numbers and reports, especially when they're bringing bad news for a particular product or division. Desire to fully allocate all costs to products. Um, this is where I would put in the mysterious organization sustaining activities and the other NA that we saw throughout the PowerPoint. Um, there's numbers that we didn't really address and we didn't allocate out to products or to um, customers that they just went in the other category. There's definitely a feeling that, you know, we missed something that we didn't look at all of that. And again, we have to be okay with that under ABC. Um, we're not claiming that ABC is perfect. We're not gonna use ABC to make drastic keep or drop decisions, 
but we're going to use ABC to make minor adjustments to make our company profitable. Um, potential misinterpretation of unfamiliar numbers. As I just mentioned, we should not use ABC to make keep or drop decisions. Baxter batteries should not look at this data and say, let's get rid of the long life batteries because they're losing money. Um, that is not how the data is to be used and it could result in the company becoming even less profitable um, because there's definitely common fixed costs that are included in those numbers and those costs might just be shifted to the other product. So that could be problematic. So people using ABC for decision making need to know its limitations. And then finally, of course, it does not conform to GAAP. Two costing systems not just may be needed, will be needed. So we definitely are gonna need two costing systems. ABC is really for companies that are committed to taking a different look at their numbers in order to make adjustments to how they operate and desiring to become more profitable. But they really have to be committed to that idea. It's not just, oh, hey, let's try out ABC for a little bit and see if it works. Like the company really has to mean it and they want to uh, commit to the process all the way through and making some adjustments to achieve better profitability. Um, I can tell you from my experience, I have implemented ABC with a company um, we didn't call it ABC, but that's exactly what it was. And um, <clears throat> it was actually for a service company, not a manufacturer, but it was extremely valuable to the company in the idea that they were offering maybe too many services and ABC helped us hone in on the ones that were more, most profitable and understand which ones were least profitable and um, make some adjustments to those. We didn't get rid of them but we didn't market them as much and we found ways to make them slightly more profitable so that when we did offer those services that we we weren't losing money on them at least. So um, it is used in the real world, but the companies that choose to use it in addition to the regular costing definitely have to be committed to seeing it all the way through. So that's it on ABC. Um, if you guys have any questions about the chapter material, of course, you know how to reach me. All right.